Hello everyone, today's topic is TCP three-way handshake. In the last video, we have seen the header format for the same and we will be using those fields over here. So let's get started. So basically three-way handshake is done in three steps. First one is connection setup. Second one is data transfer and third one is connection termination. So we will be starting with connection setup. So what do you mean by connection setup? When two computers connect with each other and share resources, even a client server can connect with each other and share information. For, connect for connection setup, two fields are required, sync and acknowledgement. Sync is the first sequence number that sender is going to send. And acknowledgement number is the next sequence number that receiver is expecting from the sender. Now let's see how a connection is made between a client and a server. Now for that client will send a sequence number, let's say random 521 to the server and also set the sync flag equals to one. Now sync flag is for synchronization. Now if this flag is set, then this means that the sequence number is the first initial sequence number. There is an optional field MSS maximum segment size 1460 and also window that is 14600. So if you divide window with MSS, you will get segments. So here you will get 10 segments. So that is the amount of data server can send. So server can send 10 segments before getting any acknowledgement. Thus window is used for flow control. Now, server will send its sequence number, MSS field and window field to the client so that both can know that how much amount of data one can receive and one can send. Now, for connection, server will send its information like sequence number, MSS, window. Here, sequence number for server is 2000. Sync flag is also set. MSS is 500p window is having 10,000 and here one field is more added that is acknowledgement that is 522. If you have noticed that 522 is the last sequence number that he received from the client that is 521 plus 1 and acknowledgement equals to 1. Capital ACK equals to 1 represents a flag that tells whether the given acknowledgement is valid or not. After receiving information from the server, client will send acknowledgement of that information and will send the next sequence number to the server. Look at the sequence number 522 that the client is sending to the server. That number is received in the acknowledgement from the server. So that means that the next sequence number is the previous acknowledgement we got. Now acknowledgement will be the last sequence number plus one. So last sequence number that we received is 2000. So 2000 plus one equals to 2000 plus one. So acknowledgement will be sent is 2000 plus one. And the capital ACK equals to 1 proves that the acknowledgement is valid. Now connection is established and we will see now how data is transferred. Three things are needed for sending the data that is sequence number, acknowledgement and capital acknowledgement flag. Let's say client want to send a 100 byte data length to the server. Sequence number is 522, acknowledgement number equals to 2001 and acknowledgement flag is 1. Server will send the requested data back to the client with sequence number 2001 and acknowledgement will be data plus data length that is 622 and acknowledgement flag equals to 1 and also the server will be sending 100 data length. 
again client is requesting a data with 100 length so sequence number will be sent is 622 and acknowledgement will be 2001 plus 100 so it will be 2101 and acknowledgement flag will also be set now server will reply with the sequence number 2101 and acknowledgement will be 622 plus 100 that is 722 and acknowledgement flag is set client will send the next sequence number is 722 and acknowledgement is 2201 and acknowledgement flag is equals to 1 up to this we have seen two steps connection setup and data transfer now third step is connection termination as for connection established sync flag is needed so here fin flag is needed for termination last step from the data transfer same sequence number 722 acknowledgement 2201 acknowledgement flag equals to one and one more thing is added that is fin flag equals to one so that will be used for the connection termination so this thing will be sent to the server and server will look that fin flag is active that the client wants to end the connection Server will reply with sequence number 2201 and acknowledgement 723. So this means that the server has received the client request for terminating the connection and acknowledgement flag is also set to 1. After that server wants to terminate the connection then server will send sequence number 2201 acknowledgement 723 acknowledgement flag equals to 1 and fin flag equals to one that is most important for terminating the con connection will be sent to the client client will reply with the sequence number 723 acknowledgement 2202 and acknowledgement flag equals to one means that the client has received the request for terminating the connection Termination is over and we are done with the three steps. In a client server system, client only request for the information from the server and server is having all the information. So in this also, client cannot send data to server but server can send data to client. And acknowledgement, both can send acknowledgement to each other. Thank you so much for watching. Keep smiling.